In this instructional video, we're going to teach you about vehicle hookup and towing. Be aware of your vehicle towing capacities. It's usually on a plate inside your door or on the actual tow bar itself, or it'll be in your books. Please check your boat for loose items and secure them as they'll fly off during transit. There we go, what we've done guys is lock the Bimini down for travelling behind the vehicle. This is really important, there is never to be any passengers on the boat while it's travelling, whether that be backing down the ramp at the water, on the road, at home, anywhere. No one's to be on the boat. Another very important item is check the tyres on your vehicle and the boat. Ensure the bearings are tight, not loose. If they are, they need to be tightened and they're the correct pressure. Next is to ensure all your tie down points are secure. Two tie downs at the front on each corner. You've got your uh, winch tie down and then you've got your safety chain as well with the D shackle. Four points at the front need to be secure. Two more tie down points at the rear must be secure, must be tight. how to hook up to your tow ball on the car and lower the jockey wheel. Back over the ball, simply wind the jockey wheel down, ensure this lever is up. Once the jockey wheel is at least a couple of inches clear of the ground, secure it, secure the tow ball. Make sure there's no movement if there is, you need to tighten this thread, loosen the lock nut, tighten the lock nut again. Ensure the brake shaft has grease on it and your brake is disconnected. Now we hook up the safety chains. Then we hook up our seven pin flat pub that is supplied. And don't worry if you don't have a seven pin because all automotive uh, shops have sockets to suit round 7 pin plugs, 21 pin flat plugs isn't an issue. Next step is get someone to stand at the back of the trailer and test your brake lights, test your indicators and test your interim lights. Make sure they're all working, you do not hit the road unless they are. Then we have to make sure the brake, the park brake is disengaged as well. Now we're all hooked up, we do one last check and walk around and check everything we've just gone over. Now we're all hooked up and ready to go, please be aware you've got at least another ton and a half on the back of the vehicle. Your braking distances are going to be severely impaired. So if the road conditions are conducive to it, slow right, right down and never exceed 100 kilometres an hour and stick to your speed limits. Actually, in fact, under the speed limits. See you out in the water.